game between the hosts, Moldova, and the visitors, Estonia, in this opening match in Chisinau. And I'm James Carter, joined by Jack Shepherd. Are you excited for this tie? I'm very excited for this tie. It's been a long time since we've had any crap football, and here we are underway. I think we must uh, apologise for the quality of, of the audio on this one. Yes, it's unusual circumstances and um, not ideal, but uh, we still have football. Yes, we do indeed. And here's Moldova just kind of getting to grips with the ball, which is a Context 19, same as the AF crap, if any keen fans remember. What a thrilling tournament that was. Oh, Estonia win it back in a dangerous position here, but uh, a little lack of control. Here's Sapanen. Plays through Vasilev. Crossed in by Vasilev and uh, it ends up at the feet Easily of... Easily dealt with by... Ryab by Ryabichuk. That's Ryabchuk. Who plays a nice ball out to the wing. Certainly does. Sebo Taru. Moldova, of course, have pedigree in the crack tournament, making the final of the first ever crack World Cup. Well, isn't that something? Here we go now. Cicinari with the cross in and the header and a goal early on for Moldova. After 11 minutes. <laughs> the horse with the, the first goal of the tournament. Damascan. Well, it didn't take much, but beautiful kick save got there. It is nice, isn't it? Very nice. Very nicely designed. And Estonia already behind. Well... I don't think Estonia started that badly, it's just they've been done. One simple attack. See there, that's a fine ball. Good cross. Leaves the full back for dead. Good positioning uh, from the striker. Yep, yeah, plants his header in. And we have a goal for the hosts. Yep, yeah, perfect. Estonia barely touched the ball. No, not really. Could be a common theme for the the, the away sides, side. yes. Tournament. Right now, Clavan probably ha one of the highly rated players in the tournament, formerly of Liverpool, but not able to do enough there to stop the hosts taking the lead. Here's Pick back to Ojama, uh, playing down. Oh, well, back centrally now to Jimmy Trev, Cams. Cams now. Anya, back to Cams. Trying to find some space here, trying to work it into the box. Dmitriev, Vasilev, Pick, just playing it across the midfield. I want to give it away to Estonia. They're not really, they're not really getting anywhere with their football. Though. No, it, this isn't penetrating football, but it, it could be now with Dmitriev. Ooh, and a, oh, and a firm tackle there. The chance there evaded them. And that's just humped long there and given away. By Metz, Tam. Very basic names. Yeah, yep, very nice names actually. Very pronounceable for yes. British people. Uh, and oh, and another yeah. misplaced pass. They're having a decent spell of possession, the Estonians now. Yep, maybe they can get a goal, an okay. equaliser. Oh, that's the Moldovan throw there. I thought that might have been Estonia's, but I thought it was, but uh, the referee sees it differently. No VAR in this competition, of course. So he's Sebotaru. Ryabchiuk. Jinzari. Cams wins it back, and here he goes, bursting down the right wing. <laughs> well, Ooh, God knows what he was doing there. Sapanen's done well to win it back, though. Sapanen's done quite well there. But uh, comes to nothing in the end, and well dealt with there from the centre back. Oh, and that ah, that hit him in the testicles, but he's he's walked it off. Vasilev, Ania, Dmitriev, we'll misplaced pass there, but Dmitriev does get control. Nice little ball through to Ania. Snaps at the shot. Corner, I believe, to Estonia there. Yes, that's that's correct. Well, I, I, that's what I think anyway. But referees, as we've seen, not always spot on in the crap tournaments. 
It has to be. Clearly he comes off a, a mouldering man. Has to be a corner. Oh, here it is. Corner. Here it is. From pick. Oh, no. oh! Oh! It's off the bar! And a goal kick. Well, that was exciting. Really hope that's not parcel at my door right now. Bloody hope not. Goalkeeper tipped that under the bar. Oh no, it's not. Kozalev with a great save there. Oh, God. Jaran. Oh, Jaran. What language do they speak in uh, Moldova? Is it Russian? Uh, uh, Romanian, I believe. Romanian. Even maybe even Moldova. It's very. It's it's next to Moldova. It's next to Moldova. It's next. It to is Romania. Moldova. And Ukraine. Oh, lovely turn there, Vasilev. Vasilev gets a uh, three men surrounding him and had no chance there really. Not really. Oh, Jama. Really the through ball a uh, finds pick. Well, was half time. We only really had one genuine chance in this game, I would say. Uh, well, you, you, Estonia hit the bar with the uh, the header. Oh yeah, of course, that evaded me. We literally just happened as well. Oh, dangerous stuff here from Moldova. Clean through for Damascan. Oh, he's chipped the keeper. He's chipped the keeper. That was filth. Damascan could be one of the names of the tournament. Oh, yeah, it's already on two goals. Hmm. A nice little s scrum there with the boys. Let's have a look at this replay. One back in midfield. Lovely ball played through the middle. All he had to do is beat the keeper, and he did so with style. He certainly did, and well, the hosts have made a perfect start in this first half to this tournament. It must be said. 2 0, comfortably leading. Home fans will be chuffed. Keeper, I think, could have, could have made himself a bit bigger there, but. He seemed a bit uh, reluctant. Yes, a little bit. Something car. Some sort of piece of hole. Um, Not long in the first half left for Estonia. He hit it! And a uh, good Ooh. save. A decent hit there from Sapien. It was a good hit, wasn't it? He kind of wriggled his way through and got some space. Go. Good pop. Uh, Another corner. The Can they get closer than the last one? Oh, well, they should have. Oh, they've won it back in the box. Oh, just just get rid of it, it, Moldova. There you go. Half time. 2 0. To the host nation, and it's Damascan with both goals. What have you made of that first half? You know, James, the hosts will be happy, but Estonia, 51% possession, but haven't managed to get it in the back of the net. I think we'll I think we'll see more from from Estonia in the second half. I think they've been unlucky with both goals they've conceded. They you know they've been 51% of the possessions, so slightly shading that one more successful passes. I just think where they've been playing the footballs not being in the right places. It's not being penetrative. Yeah, well um, that's, they, they they've got through a few times, got a few shots off, but uh, in fact they've got more shots off than Moldova have. Moldova have only had the two shots and they both went in. Fine margins in international football, and it's proving to be the case again. In the crap Euros. Just the 30 seconds remain here at half time, so I'll have a look at some of the maybe some of the stats there. Moldova preferring the left wing massively. Estonia preferring to play right down the middle. Ball winning areas. Estonia everywhere, and Moldova pretty much in their own half. So maybe more attacking from Estonia. Maybe that will pay dividends in the second half. Who knows? Seconds, we've... Well, coming into the second half now. And it will be... Estonia to kick off the action. A 
course, this is Group A, so there'll be another Group A game today, and then tomorrow is Group B. Awesome. Fancy footwork there, but cleared up. Vasilev, oh, yeah. Vasilev. Well, he's been in the wars today, Vasilev, but still trying. Ania. Played through to Sapinen, who hits it! Another oh, good another save. Good save from the goalkeeper there. He's furious, is Sapinen. And can't blame him, really. He hit that really well. It was turn, a good good turn, yeah. That. And, well, you probably would have criticised the goalkeeper if you'd let that in. True, nice but... Height. Nice height for him, really. Still, still athletic ability from the goalie. Is, um, and uh, that, that corner's cleared away. Only as far as Cams who hits it and uh, I think wins a corner. Yes, he does. He has run a corner yet. Cams the captain. Yes, Cams the captain. Pick whips this one in. To Vasilev who heads it. Just Ooh. wide of the post. Go ahead. Goalkeeper saved then, I think. Of course, people who are keen in their country, so no Estonia and Finland have to save. Oh no, it goalkeeper didn't touch that at all. I, Estonia and Finland have the same national anthem, instrumental wise. Fantastic. Country facts there. And, uh, plenty of facts for you this tournament coming up. I'll, I'll have a lecture on Transnistria at some point, I imagine. We well won back there. And we head to Tiris Ball and other fixtures. There we go. I can't wait for it. Coronavirus not really affecting this region of the world. Oh, of city. course. We haven't even addressed that. Here's Ginsari. Finds some space. Puts a cross in. Too close to the keeper. Well dealt with. Let me tell it. Or Jama finds Vasilev. Vasilev really is the playmaker here. Or Jama gets a bit tackled oh. there. Wow, ridiculous. Oh, misplaced pass there, and he's Ania. Dmitriev. And uh, deflected there and ends up in the feet of the Moldovans. Oh, and that, that was lucky there from Moldova, but, and well dealt with from Metz, because that was clean through. It certainly was. Estonia very, playing very attacking football, but uh, just not getting it in the back of the net. Must have been offside, that one. Was that a free kick? Did, I give, did Moldova give away a free kick? Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Ah, yep, yeah, stepped on his oh, foot. Yeah. Bit of a vicious one. From the centre back there. Early front runner for for kid of the tournament. That that is delightful. Mm -mm. Ojama plays it to Ania, who uh, falls over. Ojama hits one easy enough. Easily for Vasilev. Simple. Distributed out wide. Routine. Oh well, the lumbering centre half couldn't get there. Oh. Um, well, I don't know what's happened there. Oh, it's a new, I think oh, it's it went up for a throw. Going. Well, there you go. Players are getting tired. 20 minutes to go. Of course, substitutions are allowed in this tournament, unlike uh, if you remember the Crap World Cup of 2018 where they were banned. Crap World Cup of 2018 was there. Uh, but uh, we tend not to see that many substitutions in the old crap tournaments anyway, so... Players Pla like to last. And uh, it's just not enough depth, is there, really? No, I mean... Wow. The best quality footballer here is probably Ragnar Klavan. And, uh, well, even he's not uh, the best. Oh, well, that ran away from the Estonian man. Uh, Approaching full time in this opening game. Scrappy stuff. Certainly has been. 
The Estonians aren't going to help their cause with football like that. Giving it away. Second half, definitely getting scrappier. I don't think there's been a pass completed for about five minutes. It's been ugly. It's been ugly football. Well blocked. And My goodness. Again. Like Monday night football. What a hit. They're getting their big bodies in the way of the Estonians. Wow. Well, and winning a free kick. Interesting. A day's good work, I would say, for the Moldovans in this opening game. Wow. I don't know if that was a foul, was it? They took a, a decent scalp if they won this one against an Estonia side that probably half fancied themselves to do decently in this group. Well, given away instantly there, and that's got to be a free kick to Moldova, the home side. No. Nope. Oh, oh, and this is getting this is getting dangerous now, boys. Cut that out. Absolutely. Can I be free? Oh, I could save that was. Oh, a big header there. Old Jama. Vasilev. Runs out of time, Vasilev. Old Jama. Dmitriev. Well, gives it away just Dmitriev. So one minute of out time. And that's it. That's it. 2 0 to Moldova. A Damascan breaks. I must scan with the two goals in the first half. Yep, the first one the was that lovely there. header there. Jinzari with the assist. He's, he 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 had a good game as well, did Jinzari? Jinzari. I feel like the Estonian national team can feel a bit uh, aggrieved that they. Ah. I do think they'll get a, a victory. The way they played, I think they'll get a victory in, in the group stages, but uh, you have to question whether they can go... Malta, would you reckon? Yes. Well, I can't predict the future, but based on the way they played, I'd be surprised if they didn't get a victory. That was a great save by the goalkeeper. Certainly he, he was. played well today. Yeah, I think he might have actually been player of the match, despite the two goals from, from Damascan. I think the goalkeeper kept out three goals. Oh, well, Damascan actually plays in the Eredivisie for Fortuna Sissard. Oh, well, so, well that, that is high-quality football. He's on, loan, he's on loan from Torino in the Serie A, so... Quite the player, then. Yes, uh, the 21-year-old. Well, uh, we didn't know that, but I'm glad, I'm glad we found that out after the fact. There he is, yeah. So he has experience playing in Europe's bigger leagues. That was a good shot from Saprinen. There you go. That's, that's what we're talking about with the goalie making a big save, and he's 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 pleased with him himself. He's delighted with himself. Well, you're looking at this side, the Estonian side. A lot of their players play for Flora Tallinn, Tallinn, in the Estonian league. So, um, oh, you've got. Henrik Ajama plays for Vidzu Lodz. Fantastic. Which will interest Peter. Yeah, the, uh, the number 11. Damascan was one of the match in the end there, James. Well, fair enough. I think some of them ratings for the... Uh, I mean, look at Dimitri. Freaking rated 4.5. Vasilev did manage to get a 6. Which is good for Vasilev. Uh, Vasilev was the... Uh, apparently the, the player of the, the match for... Estonia. Yeah, he was he was a bit of a talisman, but uh Konstantin Vasilev, the thirty five year old. Well, we've got another game, James. What when's that? Uh, later today. Later today. All live on Twitch and then re uploaded probably a couple of hours later on the crap World Cup YouTube. Yeah. 
So stick Thanks around, get your subscriptions in, and we'll see you in a couple of hours. How do you stop broadcasting? <laughs>